Hi, hello. Today we're diving into fountains. Most basic kind of fountain you can make is by placing a bucket of water underneath any full block that has been suspended in midair. Building on that, you can have multiple spouts of water coming out of your pond. Various things like stained glass panes and iron bars can be used to subtly keep your water streams one block wide if you want a sleek look to your water. Fountains are something that have been around forever. Medieval or medieval-inspired fountains generally have a large raised pond with a centerpiece. The simplest and smallest way to build one of these is to put a wall on top of a complementary block. This general idea of water spilling from a centre point is how these fountains function in an aesthetic sense. They can have as many layers as you want, and by adding stairs and slabs to give it a slightly rounded look, it will look more polished. This kind of centrepiece usually has rotational symmetry, meaning that if you do one quarter of the build, then you can mimic it on other sides. It will also be easier to build if you have a one block centre rather than a two by two centre. You can also add statues if you so desire to the build, but you may find that this is better suited for larger fountains only, as statues will take up quite a bit of room. Modern fountains take advantage of the fact that they have motors pushing the water where it needs to go, and it can lead to some very cool shapes. To get around the limitations of Minecraft water and water physics, we can use stained glass to create our water shapes. What this means is that we will need to plan out the curves of the path that the stained glass water will take. You can, may find this easier to do with planning blocks and then adding the glass to it. If you want a splashy look, then try adding something like a bowl shape to your fountain water and using cyan, light blue and white stained glass and stained glass paints. Create your water spout. The cyan and light blue glass are good for matching your to your water and white glass is good for water splashes and froth that happens when it hits the pond or stones. The fountain spout can be made with things like chain, iron bars, or a lightning rod, which is what I'm using today. Many interiors of large-scale buildings have fountains and water features built in, either as feature pieces or installed art. This can range from a simple fountain to a water curtain falling from the ceiling lit by sea lanterns or frog lights. Water walls are a good place to put fountains as it provides a stable backdrop for any flowing water you want to deal with. And you can either have the water cascade down a layered wall or come out of it. Larger builds, such as theme parks or hotels, often have water features. Some of these have shows that go along with them. And a little redstone, and if you're feeling rich, some fireworks. This can be simulated. Futuristic and fantasy-inspired fountains can break away from gravity with floating blocks and with things like frog lights and fireworks hanging in the air for a mysterious look. Both futuristic and fantasy come off can come off looking like they're somewhere between medieval and modern with just a bit of a twist. Fantasy just sit, tends to sit a bit closer to medieval. On a final note, you can take any of these pieces and put them together to make something new and new unique. The larger the fountain is, the more complex you can make it. See you next time! Bye!